Hi, I'm Philip with Stellar Lens Productions. Now, I know many of you out there are adventurous types and you want to get that one cool shot underwater. Well, I had this same problem come up when we wanted to film a music video in which we wanted to shoot a girl flailing around underwater. And I thought to myself, how would I do this? Many of these um, housings that can cover your DSLR camera cost more than the camera itself, which is absolutely ridiculous. So what I did is I searched for an alternative means and a cheaper means to do this. So what we have here is an igloo cooler from Walmart, which cost me about $10 a few pieces of hardware from your local hardware store, and a tube of plumbing glue sealant. Now, I don't know how I came up with this, but it works, and I will show you some of the test footage at the end. First of all, the top of this originally looked like this with a handle on it that would screw on. The first thing I did was I sawed that off, and what we came up with was this. Now this right here is plexiglass that I got from local hardware store. It is very cheap. It was probably $10 for a sheet about that big, which was more than enough. So using a razor blade, I cut the plexiglass and glued it on using the plumbing glue. The same thing with this cooler. I drilled out a hole in the bottom and I also put some plexiglass on and sealed it with a plumbing sealant. So once that is done, what I have is a igloo that I can screw this on here, have a little window to look through the front and look all the way out the other side. Once that was completed, what we have to do is take this little piece of metal. I don't really know what it's called. I think it's for attaching fence posts and a little bracket, which I bent into a little bit of an L. Now this is meant to go inside of the igloo with the camera on it and it sits in there right like that. So what I'm going to show you right now is how that is done. Using one of these, which is your standard quarter by 20 thread to attach your DSLR camera, we're going to stick it through here. And once that's tightened, you have this nice little unit, which I can then place inside of the igloo. And what these little L brackets do is the weight from the camera wants to push down toward the front and these keep it from pushing up on the back. So it basically balances and it keeps it in there pretty snug. And then if we look from the other side, we can see that the lens is going to peek right out of this hole here and you know some adjustments will get it aiming straight out. After that is completed, what you would have to do at this point is get your focus set, hit record, then put your lid on. And once that's done, you're ready to go. You can plop right into the water and get some cool shots, have a little bit of a window to view in there and see what's going on. Now, one of the problems is you're also going to be fighting buoyancy of this thing because this is not going to want to sink. So you're really not going to be able to push it underwater. So what I've also done is on the bottom, I drilled a hole through the bottom and got a huge bolt, bolted it to there, and then also sealed that off with the plumbing sealant. What you can do at that point is get any standard or non-standard, doesn't really matter, circular weight that you would use on a barbell system. Put that on there and then attach a washer and then also you don't want to use a washer, you don't have to, as long as it hooks the weight on there. This is what I did when I did the shot underwater. I had a 25 pound circular weight on here hooked to that. So it made this one nice unit that I could go underwater and then it was at the point, 25 pounds actually put this pretty much right at the point of wanting to sink, but not so much. So it was kind of just floating. I could push it down and it would just kind of sit there wherever I put it. So then you can get down underwater, carry it around and look around and get your cool underwater shots. Now it is kind of a hassle having to push record, screw the thing on and then get in the water. But when you're just looking for that one shot that you want to get underwater, it works pretty well and it's better than spending $1,800 
on a little housing that covers the body only, not including the lens, because the ones I've seen on places like B&H Photo, video.com, those have these little housings and it's only for the body and it's somewhere around $1,500 to $1,800, which is almost twice as much as the 60D body costs. So when you look at the cost analysis, it really is worth it. And what we're gonna show you now is some of that footage of testing in the field and um, some of the underwater shots that we got using this. Once again, I'm Philip with Stellar Lens Productions. If you want to see more videos like this, more reviews, you can check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash stellarlensprod, or you can check us out online at stellarlensproductions.com.